It's been a long and arduous journey. Almost half a million people have passed through Serbia this year. Most of them are refugees from Syria, Afghanistan and Iraq, and three in ten are children. Some aren't well equipped for the latest hazard, the weather. In the space of a week, temperatures dropped from mid-twenties to low single figures Celsius. That's a major concern, especially for the youngest travellers. These children need help if they're to complete the trek in good health. Aid workers say that offering the right kind of assistance is now a matter of urgency. Actually, I'm very concerned because the weather can get really frigid here um, and a lot of children are not appropriately dressed. Like today alone, I've already had three kids with no proper shoes um, or socks and they, it gets wet um, and children get really sick because then they're not having the most nutritious food. Um, it's really cold and it's a really long journey, it's really tiring. So what ends up happening is that they get respiratory infection, they get fevers um, and then sometimes really young babies uh, don't survive the journey. We, we just had an eight-day-old that passed away. UNICEF and its partners are working to reduce the risks. Winter clothes are provided at refugee reception centres, with financial support from ECHO, the European Commission's Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection Department. With ECHO support, UNICEF has set up child-friendly and mother and baby spaces. These offer a safe, warm place for children to play, relax and be themselves, while mothers can breastfeed their babies in privacy. The positive impact is plain to see, and it's the product of a joint effort. So UNICEF has given us a lot of technical support, especially around maternal child health. Um, and also at the same time, they're supporting us in terms of uh, material stuff. Um, in addition to that, I think the relationship that the UN has with um, the government has definitely helped accelerate things when things need to be accelerated. Um, so having a space uh, for the children, you know, negotiating, um, actually working areas and things like that um, in refugee aid points. Um, those have been crucial in terms of this partnership. The journey continues even for the youngest passengers. Making preparations for the harsh Balkan winter should give them the best chance of reaching their destinations safe and healthy.